terms of the, the reboot, what kind of opportunity did that give you to change the, the look and the feel of the world of these characters? Right, so it was it was a huge opportunity, right? Um, MK11 ended, Liu Kang killed Kronika, becomes Cryo God Liu Kang, remakes the universe, right? So in this game, it's essentially Mortal Kombat through the eyes of Liu Kang. So it's his memories, the way he remembers things, his aesthetics, his choices. Um, so we really wanted to reflect that in, on, in the environment side, on the character side, and, and just generally throughout the, the, the game. So, and then just real quick on that, so is this entire world that we are looking at, is every character that we see going to be sort of Liu Kang's interpretation of that character? Yes, absolutely. Yes, so this is, again, you know, Liu Kang remembers people and he remembers, you know, uh, how they were. He remembers their costumes, and a lot of it, a lot of the reimagining of these of these characters have been through the lens of Liu Kang's, you know, vision. So he grew up in China. He's a Shaolin monk. So he a lot of a lot of our character choices and costume choices have heavy Chinese influences. Same for you know just that general kind of area, you know, uh, Southeast Asia. So there's a lot of Cambodian influences, a lot of Indian influences throughout the environments, throughout the character design, and that is a, a very intentional choice because we wanted it to feel grounded. We wanted it to feel like this is a tangible place um, with with you know real roots in, in that, the beautiful artwork that comes out of that region. Yeah, so with Mortal Kombat, you know, we're talking about almost like 30 and some odd years of the uh, over range. Um, that's the art scene right there. I want, I want to know what you were most looking forward to as a real hero, and also what you were not looking forward to. So, you know, we were really, really excited just because this is our, our first Mortal Kombat on next gen consoles, right? So, just the, that fact alone afforded us so much more power to be able to do stuff that we haven't really been able to do in the past. So if you'll notice, the environments are a lot more detailed. There's so much more little bits and, and little bits of like environment storytelling within them. Um, and that was really, really exciting for us. Um, and then e even like, you know, reimagining these classic characters that people have been used to seeing, you know, for all the 30 years now. Um, so it's always a little, a little, you know, you, you never know how people are going to react to your choices, your design choices. Um, and it's, it's been awesome to see people's reactions to how we've approached, you know, Scorpion Sub-Zero, Smoke, right? Um, so there's a lot, a lot of, of really cool stuff there that we're excited about, and there's a lot more to show, too. Yeah, as far as I'm not excited about, I'm going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know, there's always that little bit of nervousness, right, where, where you, you've redesigned something, but, like, uh, our, our big thing was, was really making sure that even though we're redesigning the characters, they still feel like the original characters. They still, Sub-Zero still feels like Sub-Zero. Scorpion is still the essence of Scorpion, right? Like, we, didn't, we never wanted to take that away. We just wanted to reinterpret it through the eyes of the Hi. When you're trying to envision your characters, like how you're changing them, yeah. like how minute are you going into detail? Pretty minute. And that's because, again, to go back to, to, to his, but like... Uh, with the with the new consoles, we're able to do so much more, right? So, if you if you look at Mortal Kombat one, two, and three, what was the, the cool part was was the palette swap ninjas, right? The same model, just different colors. But now we're able to do that, but with much more fidelity than we have been in the past. So, if you look at Scorpion's uh, costume, if you look at Smoke's costume and Sub Zero's costume, they're all very similar. But things like if you look at uh, Sub Zero, he's got more flourishes he's got a, a, you know a different kind of shoulder pad his his uh, belt is more intricate his gauntlets have are more intricate and that kind of signifies his ranking within the clan so we're able to get to that fine detail that and these are things that we haven't really been able to do in the past so yes definitely we we try and make sure that every little inch of the character is is designed and it's something that we thought about and it's intentional Started, and some of these people probably weren't even around. 
but I would be so fascinated by everything in the background too. Mm -hmm. So again, same question like how you know, detailed are you doing the background but to keep everybody in the foreground? Yeah, um, so, you know, we, we're able to, to do so much more with these new consoles, and, and a, a huge part of that is adding these little bits of environmental storytelling in there. So, I've seen people on YouTube, you know, breaking down Cage's mansion and, like, the pictures that are in there, and those are all, like, we, we that was intentional, right? Like, we put those things there on purpose. Things have been placed in the world to tie back into the story and to to kind of build off of that and give people just extra you know little easter eggs and extra things to look for in the backgrounds and 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 hopefully that you know you guys can pick them all up <laughs> what's the biggest challenge for you in terms of redesigning or redeveloping a character as they've evolved over the years or coming up with one from scratch Ooh. So there's different challenges, right? When you're coming up with a character from scratch, you have to make sure you're starting, you know, from a, a good a good spot. And you have to make sure that the, the character is going to be appealing, that it's something that people want to play as. You want to make sure that that character fits into the larger world of the of, of Mortal Kombat, right? When you redesign a character that has already been around, that's a lot more challenging because people have their own ideas of what Scorpion looks like and what Sub-Zero looks like. And, you know, being able to, to kind of play with that idea without... Uh, you know, making too many people upset. <laughs> That's always challenging, right? Because you want to make sure you're living up to the expectations. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, what's your big part of the design process when designing the figures and designing the sets? What's, I'm sorry, I missed the what's first your part. What's part of the design process when designing the characters and designing the sets? So, my, my favorite part about this stuff is, is working really early on with concept artists and, and starting and, and really kind of building, you know, speeds and making sure that, you know, iterating early on so you get something extremely, you know, that, that works really well early on. That's the, that's the, you know, the secret sauce to this is making sure you have incredibly talented concept artists to work with and concept artists that are bought into your product and 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 it's that is that is the most rewarding part of this is, is because that's where you know the fresh ideas really come out and then once you you know start making that into 3D and and pushing it along the pipeline it all kind of ties back into was this resolved in the concept? Now do we have to resolve it, right? So just making sure that uh, that is the most fun part is, is paying attention to all of those little details in the concept phase. So when you get to modeling and when you get to animating, it's all already been thought of and it's already been, you know, addressed. Um, um, so with particular characters, is there one particular character that you have a favorite Ooh, I do, I do. There is, I, we haven't, we haven't revealed this character yet, but um, yes, there is, there, there's, uh, yeah. Out of the ones that we've revealed already, I, I, I really love the the, the palette swap ninjas, right? Our take on the palette swap ninjas. So, yeah, Scorpion, Sub Zero, and Smoke. Look at their costumes; they're very similar, but there are little little hints and little differences between them that is, is really cool to see. You're welcome. You mentioned it uh, earlier about how some people may be, might be upset because of some. Oh, sure, you sure. Which is the change you make that makes people more upset about? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, and I don't have any in mind, but like it, it really kind of comes down to these characters have been around for 30 years, right? They've they've been reimagined a number of different ways, and we want to reimagine them in a way that it still feels fresh, and it doesn't feel like it's something that we've done in the past before. So that 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 bit is always challenging because you want to make sure you're doing something fresh that's still appealing and not something that people are going to be like what is this this doesn't feel like those characters so 
there's definitely, you know, are you going to make everyone happy all the time? No, but you can try. And the, the, the really good thing about the game is we have different looks for the characters too, right? So it's not just the base skin that you see. We have different kinds. So hopefully that there's something in there for everyone. And they, even if they don't like the base costume, they, they'll like another costume that we put out. How hard do you see it? Is it, it, it is, uh, the, the greatest character after, after the first one where, where, this, where this actor that they, they, they put them in the screen? But now you don't do that. You, you create new images for them. Yes. Um, so we, as far as, as, as representing at, like the, the actual actors in the game, um, we have a pretty robust, you know, facial scanning system that we, we bring actors in, we scan their faces. Um, so that, that's a really big part of our pipeline and making sure that our, our character models have a high enough fidelity to express the emotions that they go through in story mode, right? So there's a, a lot that happens in story and we really want to make sure that we are giving our story team the tools to convey those emotions properly. So, yeah. Hi. I've kind of been going to ask everybody about like fatalities with the characters, but when you're animating the concept of fatalities, it's yeah. more cinematic now versus what you said. Like, yeah. Do you have something that was your favorite when you were team worked on? From a fatality standpoint, the, so the one the one that we've shown right now, uh, uh, like out of the ones that we've shown, I really like the smoke one where he like you the jaw dropper. <laughs> I just like it. it I, I feel like if, if it was a in the past, we would have just blown the head up, right? But we have the fidelity to be able to cut away, you know, just the jaw and like open up the neck, right? So like. Things like that are, are really are really cool and interesting. Um, we have, you know, for our kind of internal anatomy, we have like MRI data that we use to like really make sure that we are being as as accurate as possible with like anatomy and stuff. So sh showing that stuff off is, is is always really cool and rewarding. <laughs> with all the wars we've got now, is there a all-time favorite matchup for you? Ooh, all-time favorite matchup? I would have to say it's Katana against Shao Kahn. Katana against Shao Kahn. Uh, if, 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 in, in Mortal Kombat 11, she, she screwed his face up, and that was really awesome. Um, Shao Kahn is just such a good bad guy that I, I love when he's on screen. Um, so, you know, Past game wise, that's definitely one of my favorite matchups. Well, you kind of answered it a bit, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Sure. Um, what sort of research goes into like when you animate like the blood and guts and bones and stuff? Like, sure. What's that process like? <laughs> <laughs> so really early on, um, on on the environment side, our our one of the things we really wanted to to convey was after a fight, we wanted you to be able to look at the environment and be able to tell what happened. Where did the fight take place? Like, so if you look at the environment and it's really bloody in the right corner, you know, hey, most of the fighting took place here. And now we've gotten to a, a, a place, fidelity-wise, where we even have different uh, blood droplets depending on how the character gets hit. So if, you know, we have drippy blood that just like drips out slowly so you get the little circles. We have blood that like will splatter across uh, pieces of the environment, right? So being able to, to do that and to be able to tell that story of the fight after it's done, that was something that was really important to us. Uh, I just had one. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, what's up? Who do you draw for now? So you as a kid, do you draw for yourself now? The director, the kid now? Who do you serve? So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an MK fan at heart. I, I, I grew up in Brazil, and MK is huge there. Um, and I remember playing as a kid, way younger than I should have been playing. And, and that's who I'm designing is 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 the fan is myself as a fan and it's really the fans just in general right like i think it's it's really important to 
make sure that what we're putting out um, is is appealing to the fans, right? And and something that they they want to jump into and they want to explore. And like we're able to do so much more world building than we've been able to in the past, and that's really interesting to me personally. Of like being able to really get in there and explain why the characters are the way they are, or explain the environments in, in, a, in a much more, you know, profound way than we've been able to. Good? Are we good? All right, thank you everyone, I appreciate it.